So finally, Theo has launched a product that I am not only interested in, I am buying this product um, and I'm really going to hype it because Theo has finally granted me the wish that I've asked for a very, very long time. So the new release from Theo is the Q5 STC DAC amp Bluetooth it does everything. It has THX amplification and has top of the line AKM 4493 dual 4493 DAX in it. It is amazing. You're buying this for only $400 and it's very, very powerful. This is a very, very powerful lamp. Should be able to drive every single IAM on the market to stupid, crazy output levels. You know, I, I have been following Fio, Fio for a while. I've had a very soft spot for Fio products, not just because of the, the, the features they give you overall, be it their IEMs or their DAPs or their AMPs or their everything about Fio. They make mistakes, but most of the time they are just top notch. Theo is just a top notch brand, I and I rock and I rock with whatever they put out. So this uh, Q5 S TC it has support for DSD, has support for all Aptex HD out there. It is using very efficient THX AAA amplification technology in it. So it is very, very, very quiet in its sound output. It has two connections uh, for your earphone. You have your regular unbalanced. You have your regular unbalanced output that is 3.5 millimeter for virtually all connection and i'll get to the power output down uh okay let's even talk about power output uh you get the 3.5 millimeter bomb balanced and then you have a 4.4 millimeter balance so the power outputs on this particular amp is um pretty pretty high on the unbalanced 3.5 you will get 220 milli amps of power into 16 ohms pretty much the same in 32 ohms as well if you want to power it via the balanced connection for 16 ohms it goes all the way up to 560 milliwatts of power and you know there's a big difference between these high-end chipsets that are in this model uh, over other ones that are in other much more reasonably priced models the akm chipset here is not the top of the line chipset but this is their flag mid flagship chipset the you know akm has their 44.99 uh, they, they have a much more premium DAC chips, but those ones are in amps and DACs that are way above a thousand dollars. So for you to get dual 4493 in this price range is incredible. And you get 4.4 balance personally for 220 milliwatts in, in 3.5 millimeter. I think it is more than enough. And now you get four a variety of inputs which i have always wanted i have always wanted actually there are five inputs i'll go over the five uh, but in the analog connection there are four you have your coaxial inputs which is amazing you have your optical input which is fantastic the most important for me is line inputs because most of the time dark amps have stayed away from line inputs and it's a problem because i have high quality smartphones that do have good dark chips in them that i don't really need to to route out sound through my ports my usb port to get better sound my lg v series phone have amazing dark chips i would may all i may need more from the from the lg most of the time is more output of power to drive my earphones and headphones 
and here that's where this amp comes in because of the massive output i can just hook this up to my lg phone and get more power better output cleaner signal and an incredible detailed response because the lg already is a fantastic sounding phone it doesn't really need much other than more power that is very clean and resolving and that is where the q5 uh, c comes in then you also have uh, your usb input which many people will use that but I, I i don't see how it's practical the only practical need for usb for me is if i'm hooking it up to my laptop if i'm hooking it up to my laptop and i actually want to um to do some content uh, not not content but if i if i want to hook it up to my laptop and and get sound out of it and listen to 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 stuff and all that that's where it works for me but for me to use usb on my phone i don't think i will ever do that i hate dongles i don't like usb connections to my phone because it drains batteries and i just don't like that but for laptops i can do that um the architecture build of this amplifier is amazing it is a very well made amp it's not too affordable but I, I would advise if you have the money for this follow the link in the description and buy this this is a very good all-round amp and the fifth connection for this is the bluetooth chipset it has the best bluetooth chipset out there it has bluetooth 5.0 with aptex hd support has qualcomm qcc 5124 flagship bluetooth chipsets very very um responsive in its connection has support for sbcl dac all your older legacy formats like aac it is very very versatile this is just a smartphone's wet dream amp just get this and you pair it up with any of your smartphone and you will have the best sound on the market without spending over a thousand dollars to get the best sound for your IEMs. I'm an IEM guy. Um, if you are using harder to drive headphones, maybe you may need something more powerful, a desktop amp. But for me, that is mobile and I don't really care so much about overall headphones. That's overhead headphones. Uh, this works very well for me because I can have this from all my IEMs and yeah, and I'm even talking about the P2 from Tin Hi-Fi that is incredibly hard to drive. This will work very well for it. Uh, this will drive it well, especially on high gain. This will drive it very well. And this has a base boost, hardware base boost that is great. So it will um, give you incredible base without modding up the mids. So this model sells for 400 bucks. It's now available. I'll leave links. There are some discounts and they ship the, the store ships via DHL. So it will get to any of your country very quickly. Um, I'll be buying this either early next year. I'll, I'll probably wait till January, February, but I'll buy this. I'll review it for you guys on this channel, but it will not be now. But just know that i will be buying this uh, in the coming months uh um once uh, once uh, i have things sorted out i'll have this to review for the channel so that's it guys uh, follow the link in the description subscribe to our channel like our content and i'm going to see you guys next time